again for tuning in right here at the Infinite Cup Podcast. I am your host, Robert Breton. Now, I want to really dive deep today about how spirituality can be toxic, right? This push to be, you know, love and light and just happy all the time, this really emphasis on being spiritual and doing the shadow work and cleansing all the time, all of this forces us into a perception that is not authentic, right? Getting caught in that social media trap, getting caught in the fake paradigm of people portraying this image of who they think they are and validating it through a screen instead of really practicing that authenticity, right? This spiritual movement has gotten so big that, of course, it was bound to turn against itself, right? That's what's happening right now. Think about any religion, any practice, right? The Christianity in itself, you know, there's over 260 denominations of Christianity, right? That's really within its own spectrum. There are so many people just trying to figure out that word from the Bible, right? Now, this is happening within the spiritual community, within the New Age movement, whatever label you want to put on this, this is very toxic, why? Because of the pressure that is being put upon us to, you know, be spiritual on the time. And guess what? I have news for you. <laughs> you cannot be spiritual even if you try to be. Like, let's say someone who has no idea who spirit is, what spirit is, the universe, chakras, anything like that, right? They still have chakras. They still have energy. They still have all of this. Maybe their third eye isn't open and the, the kundalini isn't online, but they still have it within them, right? It's literally impossible to not be spiritual. Every single man, woman, and child is spiritual. That's it. It's that simple. Now, we get caught up into this modern thing and like, oh, if you don't understand what chakras are or what color your aura is or something like that, then you're not <laughs> spiritual, right? Or you're not into crystals or or whatever. And this couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, my own testament, my own experience, like the quote unquote spiritual people that I know, um, you know, are really not into any movement or a part of anything on social media or anything like that. You know, they're just complete strangers or even homeless people, right? I've met profoundly awake spiritually awake people that are homeless, right? That have insights that have been through a lot of suffering and, and people with broken relationships and death in the family, yada, yada, right? You don't need to put any of this, you know, spiritual influencers or whatever up on a pedestal. This is what's creating the problem. Your brain cannot get beyond that judging part, that comparing part that says, oh, I'm following this person because they're really spiritual. I just want to be like them, right? You're only telling the universe what you don't have. Again, you are already spiritual. In fact, you can't be more spiritual than that other person. It's just not possible. Spirit is spirit. <laughs> That's it. Now, here comes this toxic spiritual movement through social media being pushed as an agenda saying you should do this shadow work. Oh, you're not a good person unless you have this type of crystal in your pocket or whatever, right? That is just 3D. That is just fear. That is duality. That is keeping the problem alive instead of creating the solution. That's the truth. That's the raw truth that I have to break down because I'm sick and tired of the spiritual bypassing and people claiming that they're spiritual or not spiritual. None of that matters. None of that matters. What matters is, are you on the path? Are you being authentic? Are you showing up with every interaction with that fellow brother, sister, aunt, uncle, right? Mother, father, are you showing up with the heart? truly practicing unconditional love. That's what matters, right? I don't care how spiritual you are or how vegan you are, or what type of diet you have or how many you know fasts you've been on or what type of meditation or breath work you're into. None of that matters. What matters is your vibe, right? The energy, right? That doesn't lie, you know? And again, I've met complete homeless strangers or people in the grocery store or whatever that have their eyes that are so vibrant there is so much energy exuding from them that I'm just locked in. It's like a magnetic energy that no one can deny. And they've probably never been into kundalini yoga or had a bhakti yoga tradition or, or been in an ashram or, or you know, gotten into fasting or anything like that, right? So this is proof. Like I said, it's all about authenticity. Replace every single word that you think is mystic or enlightenment or nirvana, anything like that, and just practice authenticity. This is the approach that will get you even quicker, <laughs> way quicker than what that other fake positivity, fake spirituality thing that is going to recreate, again, that same old fear-based agenda. That's it. It's either fear or love. And yes, you can justify your actions and say you're too spiritual or not spiritual enough or whatever. Again, this is just the mind leading you to that same old conclusion. 
It's time to wake up. It's time to go even deeper by practicing what you preach, right? Put one step in front of the other and truly walk the path of unconditional love and have that spiritual life by knowing that you're not this body, knowing that you're not just just this meat suit, right? And truly acting like the spirit that you are. That's what we're here to do every single day. That's the potential. Anything less than that is getting caught in the 3D, getting caught in the game, playing in the matrix and getting caught. It doesn't matter how quote unquote spiritual you think you are. It's time to go even deeper and let all of those ideas go of what you think spirituality is or isn't because it's all spiritual. And if that word triggers you, then it's all energy, right? Everything is energy. Think about this universe. Think about every cosmic thing that you can come up with, even beyond matter itself. It is energy. This has been proven, right, with quantum physics through everything in our modern age is slowly proving this idea that you are not physical. You are infinite. Now, have you experienced that, right? Because when you do, you can't go back. You won't go back to that judging mind. You won't go back to all of those lower vibrational habits because you now know how infinite you truly are not just as a idea but as a direct action that's what we're here to do so no more blaming no more sweeping our problems under the rug no more getting caught into these you know dialogues on social media internet trolls let's practice authenticity this fake spirituality is a trap just like any other trap now think about the older traditions right hinduism buddhism doesn't matter right been around for thousands of years there's nothing to reinvent here we don't have to reinvent the wheel at all we just have to keep doing what these ancient yogis and rishis have been doing for thousands of years that's it we need to meditate and go within right quit blaming get out of that judging mind and focus on the higher self this is right in front of us that's our homework I know it's not easy, and I want to really extend my gratitude to each and every person that is on the path right now, that is doing the work, because it's not easy. It takes a lot of courage, and that's what's needed right now, the heart. It's time to let go of the mind, let go of that 3D fear thing, and open up to this idea that the heart is where the magic is. I love each and every one of you. Shout out to the Inner Circle members. Shout out to everybody on the Patreon page. Until next time, guys, I love you. Infinite love and infinite peace.